Hello everyone, and welcome back to uh, Project Architect. I, for some reason, wanted to say Prison Architect. Um, th we're not playing Prison Architect, not not currently. Um, this is another base that we are checking out. This is another part of the base we previously checked out um, that belongs to Genesect Seven Nine Four. Um, now, there's two of these. Uh, once again, I, I, I have two issues. One is I don't know if I can check them both out in the same episode. I don't know if I have the time for that. Um, the other thing is, I I mean like. I want to put that in the thumbnail, but I also want to put that in the thumbnail. So, so I think you can definitely see the big issue that I have currently. Um, but, but anyhow, we'll start with this one. Um, we'll see where we go. Worst case, what I might do, because it, genuinely I want to put that in the thumbnail. Like that, that both of these look phenomenal. Um, I might check this one out. And if we have a lot of time, like if it doesn't take too long, um, we could look at another maybe small base off in the distance that belongs to someone. We'll, we'll see what happens. Um, Anyhow, let's, I guess, try and wrap our heads around what exactly we were looking at. So I believe this base was pasted in because that looks like one corner and that looks like the other corner up there. So this is, um, it's been built somewhere else and then, uh, uh, is pasted the right word? It's been constructed here, um, courtesy of a setup similar to this. So basically all of the ingredients needed, all of the building blocks have been, well, actually, hold on. Is it building blocks or is it concrete? Okay, it does say that it's cobblestone, bricks, and marble and stuff. So I think it actually was built out of what it was meant to be built out of. Um, I was thinking, like, sh surely something of this scale you just build with uh, concrete and it hardens into the, um, the, the, you know, the camouflaged block. But it does look like they've managed to put in all the ingredients they needed into all of these chests. And then they go into these chests in at the end here, or, or this one in particular. And then the, the cannon just goes ham and just builds the entire thing. Um, it would have been spectacular to witness, I'll, I'll tell you that much, but um, here it is. We will still have a good look at it though. So it seems to be a big combination of marble and these cobblestone bricks. I think inside, was it still marble? I, it is marble, okay. I When I looked at this a little bit before, I thought this was wool. I thought that for some reason I thought it was wool and I'm like, it looks nice, but it, it is a little weird. Um, but no, it's marble. Okay. That, that makes a lot more sense. I feel a lot more safer, um, within this house, having it not be so, uh, flammable. So this is called the barrel Inn, by the way, the oak barrel Inn, sorry. And this is the oak barrel. Um, it's dark oak, but it's still an oak. Okay. It's still oak. Um, oh, no way. Oh, you can go in the barrel. Um, so, so anyway, the barrel is definitely my favorite part of this entire build. I think it looks very beautiful. Um, there's also like a rope up here. Let me turn off my render distance thing. Oh, there we go. Um, so so now, now you can see my actual render distance, which is three, but we, we can now see the chain. Yep, definitely a chain. All right, let me let me turn that back on. There we go. Look at that render distance. Um, th these pillars also look very beautiful. But with that being said, my favorite part, I think, is this little like outcropping over here because we've actually got like vertical slabs on the side to give the indentation. We've got these beautiful window frames made with... um cobblestone brick slabs and then like a, a wall there and then some uh some orange stained glass like this simple design right here if you just built that on a smaller little house or even just a tower by itself would look phenomenal but but of course it's part of such a such a big uh structure here i really like this uh this i don't know i don't even know what to call it but like the the little extra bits <laughs> that are all over there um the window frames as well quite possibly the best I've seen in quite a while. Like I really like what's happening here with the, um, the brick slabs and the walls all coming together. I think it might also be the, um, just the cobblestone bricks, like this type of, um, block that's being used. Um, the color scheming is very nice. Oh, big paper walls from Quark, uh, accompanied with, um, just normal paper walls. And then we've even got like some corner action happening there. Well, that's very nice. And then, yeah, some trap doors on top. I, it's always nice to see like the vanilla blocks with the, the modded blocks, you know what I mean? Like, and how they, they blend in, you know, like it, it still all works. It's not just completely different. Um, down here, I'd like this, um, almost like scaffolding. It's like a reinforcement on the side of the, uh, the building to, to keep it structurally sound. Um, oh God, there's so much to look at. Um, we've got a stone lamp, and a little bit of a weird structure. Like I don't, I'm not entirely sure what this is, but it's there, you know, it doesn't, necessarily look out of place it's just it looks unfinished you know what i mean like it looks like there's meant to be something else at the top there um what, what are these by the way orange terracotta shingle stairs okay very very interesting 
I mean, like, there's so much going on here. I, it always amazes me with these, the scale of this build. Like, did someone genuinely, they're just like, they're like, oh, you know what? I reckon it'd look really nice to have these bits here. And they're like slowly built this entire thing because it's incredible. Or do they build like a husk? You know what I mean? Like just a big rectangle and they go, you know what? Let's add some design onto the side. I, I never, I wouldn't even know where to begin. Like, look at this. Now suddenly we're combining the dark oak with some spruce and, and it still looks nice. And then we've still got this like, um, that like support part, um, that connects up to another, like, uh, outcropping over here. Very nice. By the way, listen, if you're a builder or something and you know the, the proper terms here, let me know, but also be, be, go easy on me, right? When I say, ah, yes, the outcropping, I, I don't know if that's what it's called. You know, I'm just, I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to throw words at it and see if they stick. This is really cool as well. This, like the beams out here that are clearly like, they're purely there to hold this stuff up. And, and, and it's like, um, it, it's an example of, I, I think, I guess you'd say like, um, man-made, you know what I mean? Like in compared to like a, a machine, like if a machine made this, it would be perfect. You know what I mean? Like there, there wouldn't be bits of these like, um, beams sticking out. It would be perfectly built so that it doesn't like nothing's wasted. Whereas this is like, you know, it's like, oh, you know, we'll slap a log down here to, to make sure it holds it up. And that looks very beautiful. Um, what else do we have here? Prismarine bricks on the roof um, with more of these uh, shingles. And who would have thought that orange and cyan would go well together? Not me, but it, but it just, it does. Like this, the detail alone in the roof, more than anything I could ever do. This, this is very beautiful. Um, okay, okay, we'll, we'll try to, we'll keep moving. <laughs> that we've got a lot to look at. What are you? Why is there a fly that has like, Okay, I don't want to go too close to it. <laughs> um, all right, we'll go over here. Oh, a strange window here. This almost looks like a barn. Oh, these, by the way, these spruce planks look like, um, they don't look like they belong in this game because they look really beautiful. Like, <laughs> they look very high quality compared to the rest of it. it. Like, it looks like I've got a texture pack on. Um, like some ultra realism, super high quality wood plank uh, resource pack. Oh, the vines. Oh, like, they're obviously leaves, but they're, built in such a way that it does look like moss or like, uh, you know, just vines or a tr even a tree, maybe like growing up the side of the building, you know, entangling itself within the, uh, within the structure. Oh, that's very nice. And then over here we have, oh, little awnings, little, little bits of stairs here. That looks really nice. And even the sprinkled bricks throughout the marble, almost like the marbles chipped away and they've had to like, you know, patch it up a little bit. Oh, I like that. That's, that's very nice. And little garden beds. Oh God. Okay. And then at the front, what do we have here? We have a beautiful platform. I can only imagine what's going on the rest of this massive dirt platform <laughs> that, that we've got out here. Um, massive. It looks like a massive door, but it's just too little. Oh, it's actually, there's a portal in there. Oh, where does it go? The portal goes, oh, back to the hub, uh, their previous space. And then we can actually get back there by going through the, this portal here. And now we're at the entrance, um, of the Oak Barrel Inn. Oh God. That was a, Traveled a bit too fast there. <laughs> um, okay. I guess we're at the start at the front now. Um, so beautiful entrance. I, I like it. I like how they've sort of given it almost like a pillar effect using um, the trap doors on the bottom here. Um, and then we just have every armor stand you could possibly imagine. Every piece of armor. We've got all the different... Oh, oh wow. The draconic armor. Look at that. Actual proper animations. Oh, that's very beautiful. Nice. I like it. Um, a bunch of this stuff happening. I don't know. Bunch of armors, I guess. I'm, I mean, it's beautiful. There's quite a few of them. Um, okay, nice. Oh, you know what? I think some of these, are, like this is chain armor with the engineer's goggles on it, I think. And like these have engineer's goggles on them too. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. I could be wrong, but it, it, it looks like it. More of this uh, beautiful plank that the beams holding the roof up. And then we've even got like leaves in the roof. I'm not particularly sure why, but uh, it looks nice. It, it does look nice. All right, so over here we have an apple farm. Um, this is growing diamond apples. Diamond apples. The diamond apples are then going in here, and we've got a bunch of them. And I don't really know why. Diamond apple. Because we, we tried making these, and the problem is the diamond apple itself doesn't have any EMC. EMC. Um, it will give you 60 seconds of resistance 5, health boost 5. So that's, I mean, it's good to have, but like, what's the point? You could make an enchanted gold apple, but that's in of, in of itself is cheaper than a netherite. So it's like, I don't really, 
I don't necessarily know. You get some power. Not much though. Not much power. I don't know. Very, very strange. Um, big open rooms over here. Some nice little pathways. Um, we've got a staircase. Now, this staircase is dangerous. There's just a gap here. You know, if you... if you Ah, you're dead. You know, you just fall. And you die. Um, <laughs> there's a bit of that happening. Oh, God. Okay. Um, I... Listen, I'm already going to tell you, I probably won't look at everything because I'm already a little bit lost. Like, I already don't really know wh where I've been and where I'm going. Um, okay, some shelving. <laughs> We've found some shelving. Oh, dark oak ladders. They look nice. And then this leads up into a, a nice bucket. Listen, this is... There's like a lot of inspiration that you can get here from each individual room. But trying to wrap your head around the sheer scale of like this roof is phenomenal. Like, look at that. <laughs> the, like, oh my God. I, I, like, even this concept here, I really like it. I like the window that's like sort of cut into the roof and like from the outside, it, it probably sticks out. Like, if we quickly switch into spectator, like, yeah, like it comes out as like, oh, that's so nice. Yeah, oh my God. And even this, like, this isn't a real roof. This is like, um, you know, fence gates, uh, to let the air in, but it almost, I mean, it almost looks like they would fold or something. I, I'm not really sure. I guess it is meant to be like a, an outdoor area because you've got farmland and stuff. Let's switch back to creative. We've got a bunch of like, yeah, different crops over here. Room for crops, room for, I don't really know. Netherite barrels, an item collector. I'm guessing room for a farm, definitely room for something. Um, What do we have over here? Just another little empty area. This is beautiful. It's a nice courtyard. Now, there's lots of um, potion effects. I actually had to install a mod that would stop my um, my field of view from changing. Um, I don't know how to witness the mod from from here, but I, I, I think it's called custom FOV, maybe? I, I, I'm not sure, but it, it was very, very handy. Um, okay. <laughs> oh, oh we're, we're back at the start. Okay, nice, nice. We've, we've looped around. Um, so here's some... Is this some crystallizers or is it just some source? Just some source generation. Okay. Going into volcanic source links. Some pedestals here making, or I guess generating coal. Don't really know why, but I'll, I'll turn this off because they're not on at the moment. It's just uh, generating lag essentially for the server. Um, okay. Over here we have a staircase. Nice. I like me a staircase. This leads into, oh, th this was like that barn area we sort of saw where it looked very open and like we commented on the wood. Okay. That's a beautiful window out there. I, I guess we'll, we'll just, we'll move with it. <laughs> Okay, what is this? I like it, but I don't really know what it is. This is a double-decker roof. Or even like a triple deck. It's like a quadruple-decker roof. Like, you've got this roof, which looks nice. Then on top of it, you've got just another one. And then on top of that one, you've got like the, the beam holding it up. Although the beam isn't really attached to anything. It looks a little weird, although I guess it... I think it is attached because like this bit's going up, so it's like attached into the roof. Okay. And then these beams holding it up. This one looks a little bit weird. This one almost needs to go in again. There's a few little bits like that around where it's like, it's a little bit weird. Like, look, listen, this is definitely nitpicking compared to the rest of like this phenomenal structure. This in of itself reminds me of the Krusty Krab a lot. Um, I, I know it's different, but it, it gives that feel of like a real world thing that we have. Like we have barrels, right? At an enormous scale, the, the, it, it's a building. You know, you can head on in. Like, oh, you know what it reminds me of? And it might actually be what it is. Um... The pirates, where the pirates are in SpongeBob, did, were they in a barrel? I feel like they were. I, I could be wrong. I, I apologize if I'm wrong. I apologize if I'm tarnishing the, the SpongeBob brand. <laughs> um, okay. This is another um, of the matter beams. Still haven't, still haven't set them up. Still don't really know how they work. I think the matter beams turn the spawner on because I think that's the spawner. And then it spawns mobs and, and fun happens. I'll, I'll turn these off as well. They don't need to be on. Um... So yeah, I don't know. It would be nice. Well, one thing with Project E is like, I wish there was an easier way to turn these off and on. I do believe the item user can toggle them on and off. I believe we figured that out, that it, it can actually turn them on and off. Um, but yeah, it, it is a little bit awkward to like save the server from lag hell, you know what I mean? Without going to each individual one and, and, and fixing them. Okay. Um, so the barrel does connect. The barrel's very beautiful. The bands as well. So what is it? Polished andesite, um, stripped dark oak. I don't know if you can hear, by the way. I, sorry to take us out of the moment. My throat is like 
tingling every so often. So I apologize, I apologize if I'm making weird sounds that almost sound like I'm going to cough, but then I don't. I don't. Hopefully, listen, hopefully it doesn't develop into anything. I'm, I'm sure I'm fine. Fingers crossed. Um, anyway, anyway, yeah. Um, stripped dark oak logs and polished andesite. So completely vanilla, like this top part. You could make this this barrel. That's pretty cool. That is definitely very, very cool. I like that a lot. I also like that the barrel like cuts off, but it looks like it goes into the building. I, 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 I kind of like that. Um, so anyway, we can come down here. This is, um, now we're back into the actual, the actual building and that's where all the scaffolding was. Okay, yeah. I like that, I like that. I'll tell you what, what I would like to see, I, I mean like, th this is part of the problem with the big builds, is it's like there's so much room. You know what I mean? Like, this is marvelous, but it's, it's like, um, have you ever watched a house tour? For like a mansion. Oh, this is a, a strange closet. Have you ever seen like a, a mansion, like some really expensive house and, and the tour of it and there's these massive rooms and it's like, but why? Like it's not lived in. You know what I mean? Like like th this part looks nice. I like this. I like this area. The courtyard is especially, the courtyard, it works being open. You know what I mean? You don't want it too crammed. It, it shows off this beautiful wall with all the paper and stuff. Like quite, oh, that's nice. The gap in the beam. Oh, so that's a stair, two stairs, and then in the corner, another st Oh, that's nice. Oh, I like that. Yeah, that's smart, because it gives that that feel of diagonal support. Um, oh, that's nice. Oh, I like that. Yeah, write that one down, boys. <laughs> but boys, boys and gals and, and, and everyone else that may be watching. Um, all right, let's, let's continue. Well, <laughs> wherever that is, or have we done it? We might have done it. This is nice. I, li I like the I like the fountain in the middle. N now I'm sure there's rooms we've missed. I'm just trying to look for any like architectural, <laughs> architectural things I've missed. You know what I should do as well? I should actually like watch some videos and learn how to um how to properly you know describe all the things we're looking at. And, you know, and then and then we can learn as we go. <laughs> okay, so the w the windows look nice. Okay, so this is what it sort of looks like at the front as well. This like strange design, which. Like it looks, you don't really notice it until you stop and you're like, what? <laughs> What's it meant to be? Like, okay. But yeah, the, the scale of this build is phenomenal. I I mean, you could probably stop and put, like even this, look at that. Like stilts holding it up and even like just some some uh, bars to, I guess, let some air through. Is this an actual room? What's going on down here? No, it's not. This is like a, a basement area. This is like, um... You know, this is where the rats live, I guess. Okay, nice. Um, da -da 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 -da. We'll, go, we'll go back into creative. Okay, okay. I think I think we've checked it out. I think so. Is there more? Oh, oh, oh. This sort of gives that feel as well. This um, The paper over here, the paper walls, it sort of gives that feel that there's like something underneath. I guess even the whole building because like this whole area is elevated. Yeah, okay. Now, you know what? I'm actually going to... I'll have a little sneak peek. Is there actually... Yes, this is that basement. And there's actually a under most of these rooms, there actually is a proper, a full on basement that you could, you know, you could put all your machinery and cabling mess under and then have it pop up at the top. Um, okay. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> Once again, yeah, I, I think we've checked everything out. I think we've looked at most of what this has to offer. I do apologize if I've missed anything or if I somehow didn't do it justice. Oh, down here, a new thing. Here we go. Let's, can, can I fall? Here we go. What is this? A little barn. Ah, oh, nice. <laughs> well, there it is. But no, it, it actually does look very nice. Um, the I, the dark oak combined with the spruce very much gives that like um, weathered appeal. You know what I mean? Where it's not just pristine. It's sort of like, it looks like it's, you know, this bit of wood has like maybe, maybe it's like soaked wet or it's like a little bit older than the other bits of wood. It looks nice. It looks nice. Even this grass in the corner, like, or leaves, sorry. Doesn't need to be there, but I think it does add quite a lot. It gives that, once again, that aged feel to the entire build. Uh, much like the bits of, um, like the bits of, uh, what am I trying to say? The cobblestone bricks that peek out. Like it's not perfect. It's a little bit worn. I like it. Um, yeah, an acacia chest, a few little chests. Okay, I, I think that's it. I think, how long has this been? This has been like 20 minutes. That, that, that's a pretty good length. So, so we'll save that one for another episode. Um, that, that's the creative part of their, their base. Oh, beautiful. Oh, did we actually look in these? I don't know if we looked in. We'll, we'll have a quick look. So inside here, this is... Oh, what a beautiful room. 
I man, it is exhausting looking at that roof. Like the rest of this, it would be fun to build. You know, I'd love to build this. It'd be so exciting, like building all these pillars, adding the layers of wood and marble. Then once you get to this roof, I would cry. I would bowl my eyes out, not only trying to build it, but trying to make it symmetrical. Oh God, like, oh, that is, that is painful. <laughs> but that's because it looks beautiful. It, it, this is very nice. Um, very beautiful build. Okay, nice. So once again, this was um, Genesex Base. Um, not sure. Once again, um, because uh, I'm recording these videos a little bit in advance. So if you've replied on the previous video, I, I haven't seen it currently, but I'll have, I'll have seen it most likely once this video goes up. But do let me know if you um, if you personally like designed this base or, or if you got it from someone because um, I don't want to just like, you know, uh, misdistribute the credit of the base. So, so I do apologize if, um, if you're sitting there at home and you're like, hey, I, I made that, you know what I mean? Um, regardless though, you know, the, the comments are being made towards the beauty of the build. So um, regardless of who's responsible for it, it's beautiful. You know what I mean? It's, it's a very nice uh, build. So you've, uh, you've, def you've definitely done wonders here. Um, but yeah, um, we've still got that build as well. Um, we, we checked out that one in the last one if you, if you wanted to see that. Um, so yeah, thank you to everyone for watching the video. Thank you. Um, thank you for supporting the channel. Um, of course, thank you. Thank you again for Genesec for even just taking the time to get this built because like, it, you know, it, it's still, it's not easy to, you know, set it up to, to get built and to place all the stuff in, furniture it, furniture it up a little bit. Um, thank you to everyone who supported the series and, and my channel in general with, honestly, the, the channel's grown a lot bigger than I ever thought it would. Um, and with that being said, we're still like, like 5,000 is what we're coming up on. Um, as of, I think as of recording this, hold on, it's possible. Let, let me double, let me just double check real quick that we haven't accidentally passed it. And I'm like, I'm, I'm somehow out of loop. It, it's, it seems very selfish being out of the loop on the subscribers, but it's, it's one of those things where I, I don't expect it to go up. So I don't want to look at it and not see it go up. You know what I mean? Cause that, then that gets a little bit upsetting, but we are currently, okay, I'm struggling to find it. We are currently as of recording this 4,955 subscribers that is that is an insane amount of people who not only like clicked on a video or anything like that but they watched the episode they watched the tutorial they watched whatever they did and they were like you know what this is i i like this or like you know i respect it or 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 maybe they maybe they misclicked <laughs> maybe you guys you you thought you were watching captain sparkles for some reason or or some i don't know some australian youtuber and you, you you're like oh i'm not subscribed and you clicked it and you forgot about it either way Thank you guys so much um, for making all this possible. Um, yeah, thank you as well, of course, to everyone who's supporting me financially. Um, watching the ads on the videos helps me um, greatly. So thank you so much for doing that. Um, thank you as well to anyone who's donated or become a channel member. You guys don't have to do it. Um, but to those of you who, who felt financially stable enough to do it, genuinely, thank you so much. Um, it, it, it just takes that little bit of stress over the, away from uh, hosting the server. But, but regardless, like YouTube, um, so far, has kept these servers up and running. So um, don't feel too pressured, but um, regardless, thank you. <laughs> and yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I do have some some hardware upgrades potentially coming in the future. So possibly videos running a little bit a little bit better and um, that sort of stuff. Hopefully, we'll see, we'll see. No promises. <laughs> but yeah, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully I'll see you guys in the next one. This is a beautiful build. That is incredible. The, like, oh man, this world. I almost want to, you know what? I, I'm going to say it right now. In the future, we're going to do a server on one of these big mod packs where it's like you can build stuff like this pretty easily, whether it's all the mods 7 or all the mods 8 or whichever mod pack we start playing after um, Vault Hunter because Vault Hunter is a little bit more adventure as opposed to like... Oh my God, well, I'm checking out the build already. Um, as opposed to buildings, I want to do a small world. Like I'm telling you, I want to almost do like plots of land where it's like you get one area. And that's what you've got to live in. And then we'll have like a dimension for exploring and mining and stuff. Because like these builds are awesome. How cool would it be to see them all? Like just by going up, flying up a bit. Like seeing all these builds, really cool. Imagine seeing just as far as the eye can see, just builds to like this scale or, or quantity. Like uh, we'll, we'll have to see that. That will take a lot of planning to like get the server stable enough, enough to do all that. But we'll, we'll see what happens. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.